This plant up here is called the strangle tear, also known as the daughter. Now, the actual strangle tear is only these kind of red filaments up here. All of the green foliage is a different type of plant that the strangle tear is parasitizing. Strangled hair is a highly parasitic plant that is native to a few areas in Europe and Asia, but has become widely invasive in pretty much every other continent, including South America, Africa, Australia, all of that. It's this kind of distinct red color because it doesn't actually have any chlorophyll and thus cannot photosynthesize and relies on its host plant for all of its nutrients. Basically what happens is that a strangle tear plant seed will germinate and as soon as it kind of sprouts it will go off to find a host plant that it can start to parasitize. It can parasitize a very very wide variety of host plants, it's not very picky at all. Then once it finds a host that it likes it sends out kind of these root like filaments called hostoria and starts to take over the plant. These hostoria penetrate the outer layers of the stem and leaves and stuff and get into the xylem, which is kind of like the veins of the plant. Then, just like a hypodermic needle to draw blood out of a patient, the hostoria kind of drink up the water as well as other nutrients from the xylem of the host plant. Now, like all parasites as opposed to parasitoids, parasites do not intentionally kill the host and most of the time the host will survive unless the parasite overload becomes way too much. The parasite needs the host alive whereas parasitoids will just outright kill the host to complete the life cycle. So the host plants that are being actively parasitized by the strangle tear most likely will not die, however they do become severely malnourished and weakened which in the long run can cause many other problems, even a death of the host plant if attacked by like insects as well or drought or anything like that, it just lowers their survival capabilities quite a bit. This is also a cause for concern in agriculture because since this plant is very non-specific, it is capable of attacking agricultural plants, especially in areas where the strangled hair is in fact invasive and doesn't really have any natural biological controls to kind of keep the population of the strangled hair in check. So it does pose a problem to regular ecosystems out where it's invasive as well as agricultural crops. However, environmental and economical problems aside, this is a very cool plant and I am a big fan of parasitic plants. I think they're just absolutely fascinating and this is definitely a cool one.